Hey guys, Jason Abrams with another three minute or less challenge. Here's the idea. I'm going to break down my view of the entire residential real estate industry from the realtor's perspective. Friends, here's how I think it works. This represents the entire thing. Over here, this is the day that somebody buys a house and all of their wildest real estate dreams come true. And we love that day. This dotted line right here, which is really close, that represents when the consumer gets really serious about either buying or selling a home. The National Association of Realtors tells us that's anywhere from eight to 10 weeks, so it's a really short period of time. This line over here, everything on this side, that's lead generation. This is the way that we meet people. Now, if you're playing along at home, just list all the different lead generation things you do here. This might be open houses, and this might be sphere of influence, and this might be client events, and on and on and on, there's no end. Then you have this giant big piece in the middle, and that represents follow up. That's following up with people over an extended period of time. So now let's play the game. How does this break down? Well, this is number one, has to happen first. Then we have to follow up with people, that's just part of it. Then we have to transact the business. Now, I want you to play the business confusion game. And well, what is that, Jason? It's easy. The best realtors in the world, they're good at all three of these things at all times. Now, I'm just not that good, but you know who those folks are. So if you're anything like me, you need something else. I read this book on working out once. I didn't actually work out, but I read the book. And what the book said was that if you do the same exercise over an extended period of time, it starts to have diminishing results. So what does that mean? Well, it needs muscle confusion, which means you gotta do different exercises to continue in increasing your gains. How does it work in business? Here's what I do. Every single quarter, I want you to stop. And I want you to say, looking forward for the next three months, where am I most deficient? Where am I most screwed up? Is it that I don't have enough leads? Is it that I'm not following up well enough? Or is it that I'm failing on transacting the business? You see, for me, it's kind of like whack-a-mole. I'm good at any two of the three at any given time. You're probably different and good at all of them, but if you're like me, we're striving. So what do we do after we figure out where we're most deficient? That's the one we focus on for the next quarter. Friends, when you focus on new things each quarter, wherever you're most deficient, that's how your business goes like this over time. If you don't, it's gonna go like this or it's gonna go really slowly like this. So here's the question, looking forward for the next three months, where are you the most deficient? Friends, go back and figure it out and then focus.